If there is evidence that universal basic income can eliminate poverty and is at least superior to welfare, would it not be unethical to implement universal basic income? That's from Ray. Hi. Hey, Ray. How you doing? Good. Um, can I first address something, um, a lie that I feel like you just told related to economics and basic income um, from the last uh, call? From the last, like the one with just with Fritz? Right. Because Did you we said talk that about universal basic income? You we talked. To, you said that leftism has caused the rise of communism. I don't think I said leftism has caused the rise of communism. I think communism is certainly on the left, and the rise of leftism would be associated with the rise of communism. Okay. But I wouldn't say that everyone who's on the left is directly responsible for the rise of communism. The coincidental phenomenon, right? I mean, left is the umbrella term and communism is just one of the terms on the welfare state and, and government education and central control of currency and socialism and so on, right? Okay, so can we first agree that there was no attempt at communism or equality in the Soviet Union? Can we just get that out of the, like, the discussion? Sorry, there was no attempt at what? There was no attempt at communism or equality in the Soviet Union. Are you saying that the Soviet Union was not communist? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Did the government control the means of production? Uh, that's not what um, the definition of communism, though. The definition is of it the workers control the means of production? Yes. Yeah, so did the workers control the means of production? Did, okay, let's just do it that way. Did the workers control the means of production in the Soviet Union? Yes or no? Did they? Well, somewhat, certainly, because they had no, workers' they committees and they had uh, no, uh, workers' lying. committees that could vote. You're Sorry, if you're right. going to ask me a question and then immediately start talking when I answer, we're going to have a very, very short conversation. Do you understand? Okay, continue. Thank you. Don't get upset. Don't get offended. You ask me a question, you immediately start talking in my ear when I answer it. Okay, continue. But I, I'm saying is with, within an authoritarian state, you already know that the oh my God, everyone's no going to drive control. me crazy tonight. Okay, there was some control that the workers had over the means of production in the Soviet Union. How so? I just explained it. Okay, but you know that people starved oh, to death. Oh, maybe you were Soviet talking Union, and didn't right? hear me? Okay, are you aware that people starved to death in the Soviet Union? What do you mean? I've, I've done shows on that. Okay. Of course. And are you aware that there are people who were up to maybe 300 pounds in the Soviet Union? So that there was a huge uh -huh. wealth inequality in the Soviet Union? Sure. So you're saying that the workers, with their control over the state, they had enough, so much control over the state that they somehow decided to starve themselves? Are you saying that there's nothing in totalitarianism, there's nothing in communism that, that um, causes totalitarianism, even though every communist country is a totalitarian dictatorship? That's completely unrelated. It's, okay. it's, an, it's a massive coincidence. Okay, so, but you, do you understand that um, some people just lie and say that they're communists? when they're not. You know how Kim Jong-un says that North Korea is democratic, but it's not really democratic at all, and everybody knows that? So, so you're saying that everyone who wants a totalitarian control over a country just happens to call themselves communists rather than capitalist. That's well, a complete Well, how many dictators call themselves, how many dictators say that they um, are democratic? How many, dic how many authoritarian regimes say that they are, de they are democratic? Almost every single one. So... I mean, yes, but odd. there are democratic countries that aren't authoritarian regimes. There are no communist countries that aren't health health sent dictatorships. So it's a false okay. equivalency. But I'm saying that the very definition of socialism and communism is a classless, stateless, egalitarian society where the workers democratically own the means of production. So by definition, that by definition, those totalitarian countries don't actually count as communism. You understand no, that, right? No, they do. No, they do. Okay, no, this is this is this general. No, this is this no, general theory don't. and practice stuff, right? I can don't. say I can say that uh, so and so is a mass murderer, uh, and and their definition of mass murdering is to give people vitamin C tablets in winter, when they're actually just stabbing people. Okay, or or they say, well, no, I, I'm a mass murderer who stabs people, but my mass murdering is it's actually surgery. I mean, you can redefine things, and you actually look at the empirical results. So my question is. When a country has an existing system where the means of production are privately owned, right, in, in some sort of free market or quasi-free market, the means of production are privately owned by individuals, right? They have legal right to the factories that they have created from saving, from hard work, from investment, from inheritance, whatever it's going to be. They have legal title to the factories that they have created, and they have moral title too, since assuming it's a relatively free market, they did in fact go out and work to create these factories. So let's say I have a factory 
which produces okay. Steph bots. <laughs> oh, whatever, right? I have a factory. That hang on, hang on. I have a factory. How does it transition to a communist system? The, well, the first thing we would have to address is who has the right to um, declare that they own property. Well, it's my factory. I, I built it. I created it. Okay, but you, the, if the first thing that has to be addressed is who has the right to take property, who to say, this is mine. No, I didn't take property. I don't know if you're not hearing what I'm saying. I created the factory. Maybe I was not clear. From, from what resources? From my savings, from my investment, and from paying the people who helped me to build the factory okay, in a free exchange from? of value. I'm sorry? Where did you get those from? From savings? Well, I got my savings from not spending my money on wine, women, and song, but rather putting it under my mattress or in the bank or something. Okay, so there, I mean, there was a time when there was no real property, right? Like when humans, for example, were just hunter-gatherers, there was no real property, right? Of course there was. No, there wasn't. I don't know what there you were mean. times when there was no property, where nobody... No, of course there was property. No, there, there you you just said it, hunter-gatherer. So if I go out and gather berries, who is responsible for those berries coming back to the camp? Well, yeah, but those, that, those resources are shared amongst that group, though. It's not a formal... No, I can choose to share them. Property. But, but if, if you go out and hunt... You, you, if you and I go out and hunt, we're the ones who brought down the deer, right? We bring it back. Now we can choose to share and all of that kind of stuff. But saying there was no property, like, like if you and I go out to hunt and we shoot a deer and then some other group comes and tries and grabs a deer and take it away, what will we do? Oh, sorry, can you repeat that? So you and I go out and hunt a deer. Okay. And we use our bow and arrow. We shoot the deer. We kill the deer. Right. And then some other group, some, some other tribe comes and tries and takes our deer away, what are we going to do? Okay, so from my perspective... No, no, no. What are we going to do? Tell me what we would do in that anyways, moment. Anyways, from my perspective... Tell I, me what we would I do in that moment. In my mind, the material universe is... so. Now, hang on. Don't oh, fuck, fuck the material universe. You and I... Look, you can pretend that I haven't asked you a question, but guess what? This is my show. If you don't ask my okay, questions, okay. I'll just move on to the next caller. I mean, that's perfectly fine with me. I got lots of callers tonight. You and I go out and hunt a deer, we shoot the deer, the deer falls down dead, and some other tribe, some other group, tries to grab our deer and take off with it. What do we do? Um, anyways, yeah, you would, act, well, you would protect your hunt, but I'm just saying that So, So hang on, so, so, so it's our deer. That's, but that's a long way from claiming property as in claiming entire land for yourself. You know what I mean? You said there was no property. I just gave you an example of property. You can admit that you were wrong or you want to refine your definition, property. but don't oh, just but weasel out like I didn't that, say anything. I, don't, I still technically don't consider that property, though, because that's more... I think property has a much um, more like legal, formal usage, whereas that's much more of an informal thing that the hunter-gatherers did. You know what I mean? So There's it's only property if you have a court system? Excuse me? It's only property if you have a court system? Um, I think that it's only property if there is a very strong power enforcing it. So if if I, in a primitive society, if I want to eat your arm, you have no right to exercise property control over your arm. I can just cut it off and eat it. You have the right to self-defense, but... I okay, mean, so you can protect your personal property called your own body, right? Okay, but this is getting into sort of that um, anarcho -com capitalism type of um, no 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 um, you're bringing in buzzwords i'm asking you basic questions you have the right to use violence to defend your personal property called your body right um well okay i support majority rule that's my thing right no no you're not answering my question this is well, yes or no do you have the right to protect your personal property called your body in other words does a woman have the right to say no to a man who wants to have sex with her my thing is that I support majority rule. So, because okay, I Okay, you can democracy. keep repeating that, and I'll just keep, I'll repeat my question once more, and if you don't answer it, I'll move on to the next call. I'm not being threatening, I'm just, this is just okay. a reality. I like to have conversations, not to, not somebody just repeating things like a broken record. Does a woman have a right to, to say no to a man who wants to have sex with her? I'm trying to explain my position, though. Which Does a I woman have the right to say rule. no to a man who wants to have sex with her? Well, obviously, but I, that has nothing okay, to do with so, Okay, so, so, hang on, so she, she can, she has... She has, she can exercise control over her personal property called her vagina, right? Well, yeah. She controls the like use of that body. vagina. Okay, but having control over your own body is not the same as having control over um, other people's land. You know what I mean? 
in no, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, well, okay, so I have control over my own body, but that doesn't mean I can um, steal other people's land. That doesn't. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If I go and steal something from you, well, first of all, stealing requires the concept of property, so I don't know how you're going to evade that one. But let's say I come and steal something from you. Am I responsible for that theft? Am I responsible for the moral action of stealing from you? Well, okay, I the one type of property that I do agree with is the idea of um, collective um, collective. Okay, no, no, you stop bringing in collective, you're not answering my question. If I steal something from you, am I responsible for the action of stealing? Well, okay, but let's talk about what what is theft, though. What counts as theft? In you just mind, said if someone goes and steals someone else's land. So you, we already understand the concept of theft. So if I come and steal something from you, am I morally responsible for stealing? Uh, am I responsible for I the stole, action well, called stealing? Who stole what first? No, 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 no. Let's just assume that that. Okay, let me let me. Let me if you're having trouble with this one, let's go. Let's say that Bob, some guy named Bob, goes and rapes a woman. Is he responsible for that rape? Well, yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, that's fine. So he is, Bob is responsible for the effects of his actions. He owns the effects of his actions, right? I mean, if Bob rapes okay. the woman, we go and punish Bob because he was the one who raped her. So he's responsible for what he creates, for what he does, for the effects of the actions of his body on the world. He owns what he creates. Now, this is as true of a crop that you've planted and watered and grown it is true of an unowned oh, land that you have true. enclosed no, and you have uh, taken control no, of and you have cleared true. and you have planned. You can keep talking. I'll just keep talking until I'm done that's because it's my show again. So true. if you have taken unowned land and you have um, you've cleared it and you've built a house, uh, or these things exist that didn't exist before, you own the effects of your actions in a positive sense in the stuff that you create in the same way that you own the effects of your actions in a negative way in terms of crimes that you may commit. So, okay, so we own ourselves and we own the effects of our actions. So how much do you owe to the Native Americans then for taking their land? I'm sorry? So how much is owed to the Native Americans for taking land that belongs to them? Well, nothing. Why? Because I, I didn't take any lands from anyone. Somebody took that land and then you acquired that stolen property. But they're all dead. No, no, no. You see, if I steal... And how much, how much do the Indians... How, okay, how much do the Indians... How much do the Indians owe to each other for enslaving each other. Okay, let's, if I- How much do the Indians owe to each other for initiating I, wars make, and genocides against each other? Can I make a point? So if I steal a painting from you and I give that painting to my child, when I die, does that painting belong to my child? If you steal a painting from me- Yes. And then you die- I die, I gave the painting- Right. So, and my child inherited that painting from me. Right. He didn't steal a painting from you, but he inherited that painting from me. So who does that painting belong to? Does it belong to my kid now, or does it belong to you? But stealing is illegal. Ah, see, there we go. There we go. But exactly, well, okay, let's, let's talk about that. So land was stolen from the Native Americans, right? No, 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 sorry, how, how was it stolen? They were nomads. They weren't mostly farmers, right? They were nomads. How was it stolen? Well, I believe in collective, that's why I said I believe in human collective ownership over the land. So the natives collectively owned that area, and that was it was their choice to to allot property the way they wanted to, right? And if they say, okay, well, let's not really talk about. Well, no, property. but they didn't respect. Hang on, but they didn't respect each other's property rights. They regularly waged war and enslaved people. They that's found good, pits with like. Hang on, okay, hang on, so hang on, on man! Land, for God's sakes, one more interruption. On one more interruption. One more interruption. I'm moving on. Okay, it's your choice. I'm exercising okay, control ahead. over the property of my time and my ear. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. You keep saying go ahead like go I'm ahead. being irrational, but you keep yammering into my ear while I'm trying to make a point. Okay, go ahead. The natives in North America did not respect each other's property rights at all. They raided, they took people as slaves, they killed, they, they found pits with like 500 bodies thrown in with their skulls tortured and crushed and maimed and, and they raped and they, so, so they didn't. They didn't respect each other's property rights, but somehow the Westerners who come over and actually offer value for, in return for the property and enter into contracts and enter into treaties, oh, some of which were broken though. by. Oh, okay, we're moving on. Still Thanks bad. very much for your call. I appreciate that, but uh, I'm going to have to stick to my word. Let's move on to the next caller.